Hi everyone, this is Peter from Peter's Pit Talk. We are officially in the 23-24 season and what better way for me to start off my pit talk than with someone who not only is a mentor to me, I like to call him a friend. He has been fantastic in the development of Peter pit, Peter's Pit Talk and that is Andy Ticehurst. We have caught up here with Andy today to discuss an evolution in Speedway, Victory Lane Tours. Based out of Brisbane, also accommodating the Gold Coast. We caught up with Andy just before and uh, we've got a bit of information for you to talk about not only this project but what it means for you and also the economy in Toowoomba and Speedway in South East Queensland as a whole. Victory Lane Tours, Andy, how absolutely, oh, exi beyond exciting really to bring something like this to the market. Tell us about it. Where did it come from? What does Victory Lane Tours stand for? Well, Peter, Victory Lane Tours was basically a couple of people having a conversation a few years ago. Um, people wanted to go to events, but you know what? It's not always easy, particularly when you're coming from interstate state when you don't know all the little idiosyncrasies around a town, around a place and so forth. So what then happens is people don't go to events because they say it's all too hard. So I started to do some tours for some people, very, very small tours, exclusive tours to some international events, some events in Australia, and then High Tech Oils to Woomba Speedway and I had a conversation, Ryan Harrison and I, and we, we, we said, hey, let's expand this to our venue because we believe our clients might love it. I think it's fantastic. And, and we've had that conversation about how there were tours early 2000. Mm. Um, nothing just before COVID and certainly not since COVID. Mm. You being you in media, traveling all around the world, um, following motorsport, I couldn't think of a better person to actually be able to welcome people to any of our local venues, especially High Tech Oil Speedway to Woomba. Where do you see this going? Is this something you can manage on your own or have you got a group of people working with you to, to make it possible for, the, for your customers? Well, the first answer is no. <laughs> um, it is already too big for, for just one person to operate. Um, behind the scenes, there's a lot going on. Um, there's a lot of uh, moving parts to organising tours and one person couldn't do that alone. When you've got multiple coach loads of people going to an event, you can just dump them on the coach like some other tour companies do around the world and just say, we'll see you at the other end. We chose not to do that. We chose to have a host on every coach that will hold your hand all the way, will inform you and make sure you enjoy yourself. That's the difference between Victory Lane and other tour companies. That's fantastic. And let's talk about High Tech Oil Speedway at Toowoomba because it is our home track now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, you've had a long history with, with Barry and, and the Speedway. How does a tour look in terms of obviously flying into Brisbane domestic airport or international airport? How does that look if we were focusing on, let's say, Thunder on the Downs or Red Hot Summer? Well, let's wind it back a bit. We offer two services. We offer a day service out of Brisbane and soon to be the Gold Coast. So if you live in Brisbane, you don't need to drive to the venue anymore. You can be picked up at along the route. Wow, that's um, incredible. Which, which we've, Great idea. We, we've done it from the yep. north of Brisbane all the way through to the south side and then up the freeway. Um, you can literally catch the coach up, yep. go and see the, the show and come back and you're, you're home in a couple of hours. On the other side of that, when you've got a big multi-day show, what we've decided to do is offer the full service. Yep. So if you live in Brisbane, you can do the same, or if you choose, you can get on our other service, which will have accommodation. It'll have some activities in the mornings each day, transfers to the track, bring you back to your motel every night. We hold your hand that whole way, and it's gonna be gold. That's really, I think it's, um, it's actually really exciting right now because after the last season, Ryan put out the um, infographics, I guess, and the, the information as to how much money High Tech Oil Speedway Toowoomba events brought to Toowoomba. Mm. This is now going to a whole nother level. So where you're not only supporting the track, you're supporting the, the small businesses um, and giving people a great, a better understanding of what Toowoomba is, which can only benefit the track at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, how many people can you fit on a tour at once? What, what are you thinking there? Well, on our day trips, yep. uh, we're limited to 64 people per coach. Okay. They seat 65, but we've got one host. Yes. Um, we do have some bigger coaches we can call on, but at the moment, we're limi limiting it to 64 people per coach. When a coach fills, we stick another one on. Okay. So what then happens is, 
we're unlimited. We're, we're, we're only limited to the amount of coaches that we can draw on, and believe me, we've got a yard full of them. <laughs> okay, so we've talked about High Tech Oil Speedway. Mm. Let's talk about either the regional events. So we've mm. had Gladstone now come on board with mm. a spectacularly great facility. Mm. Uh, you still got Maribara, Bundaberg, Kingaroy. Mm. Is it something you would consider doing on, on a smaller scale to showcase those regional towns and the events that quite often go with, especially the modifieds mm. um, and the production sedans and so forth? So is that a possibility if someone's interested in doing something to Gladstone and doesn't want to drive on their own? Potentially, yes. Yeah. Um, at the moment, we've, we've really focused a lot of our energy on getting Toowoomba sorted. Mm -hmm. When you talk about the economic impact, that is very important because the town of Toowoomba is a fantastic little place. Mm -hmm. I've, I've stayed there multiple nights myself. I really enjoy the region. And doing deals with local providers, that just boosts the economy up there. So when we do deals, we do them with local lo Businesses, local companies yeah, up there yeah, because we, through the economic um, plan that Toowoomba put out and, and it showed the community how much money us Speedway people bring in, we're going to substantially enhance that for yes. the next 12 months and beyond, yep. um, which A, gives Toowoomba some leverage with the council to yes. say things like fix the road. Yes, and other yes, things, please hear that. <laughs> other things like let's just boost the speedway even bigger because it's a tourist attraction and it, and it is definitely. a huge draw card for that particular area. Second to your question, yes. we would seriously consider talking to any venue okay. in, in southern Queensland because we have our customers that would like to go to other places. Yeah. Um, we would love to have a chat with them and um, if they're interested just hit us up on our website and someone will get back to you. So we'll just quickly mention the website. Mm. It's victorylanetours.au isn't it? victorylane.au oh, victorylane.au yes well, there, okay so you yes. jump online is the website up and running now yes it is okay so what you can do is you can book your coach seat for yep. either the first half a dozen shows have been put up now you can book your seat on the coach and you can book your ticket to get into the venue all at once it is all through one system yes our hosts will issue you your armbands if you're going into the pits yep. if you're going to the VIP area for the bigger events you'll be given a different colour armband mm -hmm. and if you're going in the general admission with yourself, a pensioner, a teenager or a child under under 12 that's free, yep. they will be given a paper card and they will hand that directly where the bus stops, um, which is up near turn two, two. Yes, um, yes. up where near the bar is. Yep. There is dedicated parking for our coaches up there, so you'll know exactly where your coach is going to be where you when you get off, it's going to be on. parked. Yep. If you need to get something out of the coach, you can. Um, the system, we've really thought about this. Um, coming from a logistics background in the military, yes. we don't yes. do things by halves. No, you do not. And we're, we're here to look after our patrons. Uh, in terms of, of patrons, I really see such a broad demographic utilising this service because mm. even for myself, as you know, you know, we've been together pretty much every Toowoomba mm. round this season. We both drive up there, we mm. stay at accommodation, I stay at Friends. Mm. It does take its toll. We, we were pretty worn out at the end of the season with the amount of travelling mm. that we ended up doing. Mm. I think for myself even, just being able to jump on that, that charter and knowing that we'd get there early, knowing that I don't have to worry about driving mm. home on my own at mm. one o'clock in the morning, mm. especially for the big shows. So we talk about those. We start mm. off with Thunder in the Downs yep. at the start of the season. That's the 23rd, 24th of September or 24th, 25th? 23rd at start. Yeah, 23rd, yep. yeah. So, I mean, another props to, mm. to Ryan and Sharon mm. and the team. And it just continues, mm. not only in the open wheel category, but mm. in the sedan category mm. as well. Mm. Where do you sit moving forward? Now, I, I say that because you have so many, uh, wear so many hats, mm. so many mm. businesses. Mm. Is this something you are going to personally manage or is this something you can develop and then have people in place to help you do No, that? look, I, there's one thing I do is, is my group is quite large. Um, one thing I do is I micromanage everything. Um, this has been set up so it is turnkey. It's done so it's one-stop shop. You can go in, you can do everything in one portal. Uh, we've got a new app coming that will be able to actually track your coach. Fantastic. So you'll know when it's getting close to your bus stop. So you'll know to get up and be ready because time yeah, is the absolutely. essence. Um, we've got a lot of really smart technology going into this deal, but more importantly, we want to give value for money. And I'll tell you what, and, and th th there's a really there's two things I see with regards to this: the economic impact that this is going to have in Toowoomba, mm. not only for the big shows, and, and we are talking there's some mm. serious big money shows mm. across all divisions, local shows, getting more people, more bums on seats in Toowoomba, um, but also that whole 
so hard coming home at one o'clock in the morning driving on your own isn't yeah. it yeah yep and to be honest that that's what 90 percent of it's about yeah a lot of our patrons wanted to drive but we looked at it and went hang on a minute we've got a bunch here that have been emailing us saying you know we've got something wrong with our eyes we can't drive at night or we're scared that a roo's going to jump out in front of us or we've been working all day yeah. we'd love to come but it's just the day's just too long yes. so we fixed it we put something in place Fantastic, yeah. absolutely yeah. fantastic. Well done to yeah. you, and, and I know there's a big team behind you making yeah. it all possible. Um, it would be great to, for you to share your knowledge, mm. but get on this, people, because yeah. this is a fantastic, another great Speedway mm. initiative mm. from Southeast Queensland. Well done, Andy. Thank Beautiful. you.